Lessons from the Life of Nathan Van Etten by Pete Bowers, Charles Berman, and Daniel Schwartz. Episode 6, Poverty Petrifies Nathan Van Etten. Poverty is the social affliction that affects those with no money. There is no surer way to achieve poverty than to have no cash. Sometimes, those stricken with poverty attempt to acquire money, thereby obviating their poverty. One person who has never encountered these things is Nathan Van Etten. Oh, invisible talking man! How was your no-body time today? Lovely, Nathan. How do we find you? The phone book? GPS? I meant what are you doing? Oh, I'm walking down the street trying to find a fourth for this afternoon's game of Settlers of Catan. Ah, games. Few things have such rich opportunity for victory or defeat. Can't argue there. But without four players, we would be forced to play as only three. And let me tell you, that would suck. It would indeed, Nathan. Sucking is the way we are certain that something does not rule. For without enough players... Change, mister? No, I will never compromise my principles! Huh? Why are you having a picnic on the sidewalk? And why does it smell so bad? If this were a picnic, there would be food. Yeah, why don't you have food at your picnic? You're a jackass. But wait! What is this sign I spy at your picnic? Is it true that you will work for food? Uh, yeah. I have always thought people worked for money. That's what the people I've met with jobs tell me. I'm sure. Anyway, it's lucky I stumbled over you, picnic man. Yeah, watch where you're going. Your sign has given me an idea. Come with me. Uh, sure. We're playing settlers. Let's go to your place. Where do you live? Um, back there. You live in the Chase Bank building? Are you a banker? I was. Did you stop because you were sleeping at work? Something like that. It's a good thing you stopped then. Sleeping at work is dangerous. Look, jackass, I don't know why you're making fun of me. I live behind a bank. I've got no money, no food, and no place to live. If you've got work for me, great. If not, leave me alone. First, my name is not Jack. Secondly, I know what it is to have no money. But why wouldn't you want a place to live? Are you some kind of hippie? I'm leaving. No, wait, unhomed guy. We can play at my place. It's cool. I'll order pizza and we'll play. Pizza? Okay. All right. Settlers of Catan, a game of exploration and trade. What kind of pizza? Focus, guy! You do know the rules, right? To what? To Settlers of Catan. Is that like Canasta? Not at all! First, we take a bunch of cardboard hexagons and make a single larger hexagon from them. Look, I'll just follow your lead. Darn right you will. Here is my house, where I live. It is made of dead trees, and for that, I apologize. I hope your weird lifestyle will allow you to enter. I should have just gone to the soup kitchen. Your kitchen only makes soup? Mine is much more versatile. No wonder you left your house. Take a look, we've got all sorts of kitchen things. Yeah, mind if I grab something? Oh, there's nothing worth eating in there. Just some vegetables and some fruit that my mom bought. Farmer's market, of course. Besides, I don't want to make a mess. My mom gets mad when I cook. Ever since I got marshmallow fluff in the rice cooker. Oh, I'll just order pizza. Could you get that? I'm on the phone. Uh, sure. Oh, uh, hey, is Nathan here? Uh, is that his name? Yeah, he's ordering pizza. Cool. I'm Todd, by the way. I'm Todd, too. Cool. Todd Witherspoon. Todd Brady. Ah, good. You're both introduced. Ah, now, I need a name to tell you apart. You'll be homeless, Todd. And you'll be... Um... Psoriasis, Todd. Hey. Hey. Focus, Todds. We've got some Catans to settle. (laughs) Oh, good. My pizza. Hey, Nate, got your favorite. You will find it is Nathan, pizza friend. You'll find it's Steve, Nathan. Duly noted. Have a good night. God, of all my friends, he is the least likable. 
Anyway, let's eat while we wait for our fourth. God, what is that unholy stench? You mean the healthy aroma of a mayonnaise and salmon jerky pizza? Jesus Christ, tell me you're joking. Pizza is one thing I never joke about, my vagrant friend. You know what? I haven't eaten in two days, and this isn't even worth it. I'm out of here. Come back! We can trade wood for sheep! Screw you. Well, psoriasis Todd. I mean, just Todd. You might as well go. Nathan, I biked four miles to get here. Do you still have the bike? Solitude. The loneliest feeling. For it is when no one else is there that we can truly be alone. As Nathan's friend Todd cycles into the night, we are reminded of how dark it is. There are lessons to be taken- Oh, I think I know what they are! Do go on, Nathan. Never offer food to the homeless. They will taunt you with promises of friendship in Catan. And then they'll just leave and ruin your game. But you will get a whole mayo and salmon jerky pizza to yourself. Sucks to be you, homeless Todd! And so, we leave Nathan, warm and secure, inside his family's paid-for home and salivating over a truly revolting pizza. Okay, so none for you, incorporeal guy! We reminded of just how some have homes, and how some, the homeless, do not. Perhaps you will be at home when you join us for our next lesson from the life of Nathan Van Etten.